wanted to make a quick little video for you before Valentine's Day is coming up. And this is a fun little meal you could have with your loved ones, um, your wife or your girlfriend, whoever. And uh, I just have, I'm going to use a couple pieces and this is original Smithfield, uh, the original um, bacon, a couple large brown eggs. You can use any kind of eggs you want. And I've tried using cheesecloth and grating my own potatoes to make hash browns. That's obviously too difficult and I screw them up every time. So I'm just using shredded uh, hash brown potatoes. And these are just by Orida. You can use any brand that you want. And then I have this little uh, ring I got here. I like to uh, cook eggs in them. They come in different shapes. And I think I just got this from Wally World. And I'm gonna heat up uh, my cast iron lodge uh, skillet here and then also just this older skillet that I have and I'll be right back. So I have my larger pan over here heating up. Uh, the potatoes call for two uh, tablespoons of oil, probably neutral oil. I'm just using canola oil and uh, <clears throat> to go on the one side with not really stirring them at all for I believe it was six to seven minutes and we'll flip and then go for another four to six. The first thing I want to do so my eggs won't stick on my cast iron and I didn't want to do it on this cast iron because I still have yet to level this off. Let's spray some cooking spray on there. I also have some avocado oil on here. I haven't started heating this up yet and but I am going to throw the uh, hash browns on. So I have a nice even layer over medium to high heat. Uh, this should go for six to seven minutes. This is where I'm gonna turn on my other two burners for the griddle. And again, I don't know how back good this back uh, burner heats up. So, and I've never done this before, but I'm sure it'll most like all the other videos on here, I've never done it before. So the, all the other ones turned out good. Okay, guys, I'm to get you a different shot because <clears throat> this back burner isn't working as good as what I thought it was. I actually had to push it back in. I was going to try to flip this with, um, you know, some spatulas or whatnot. But I think I'm going to use this pizza pan. And it should because I'm already at actually an eight-minute mark. And then... We'll try to flip it and get it back into the pan on the other side. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Disaster. Oh, that didn't go over too well. After the flip, it calls for one more uh, tablespoon of oil going in. And what I'm going to do, I didn't mention, I did clean up the sides of this, but I am going to flatten this back out and hopefully this will turn out how we wanted. Okay, I have the bacon going down. Let's see. the bacon press down. I didn't want to use it because I knew this is going to come out of here. Let's see. Let it form up. A little cracked black pepper in there. Okay, I've got the one egg done. Actually had better success flipping this, you know. And I've moved around the uh, bacon press. Let's get the other egg on. 
Hopefully not too much of that comes out of there. I'm gonna let this get a little bit more well done. See if I uh, if I can't get this on camera. Oh, nope. Okay, huh. last egg is cooking up. This may turn into a fail. I had a a better shot <laughs> uh, of flipping them. I off a of camera, and I tried to do it on camera, and. So this could turn into a fail, obviously. That's not a complete circle, but that's what it was when I did the first flip, uh, not using the pizza pan. So, it is what it is. Uh, that, a lot of cooking is like that. Um, you know, it's trial and error. Um, but we'll, we'll still see, you know. I'm gonna try to, try to complete this, so. And there you have it. Almost a fail. Hope everybody has a nice Valentine's Day. You guys take care.